Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a smart contract to the main Ethereum blockchain. This is going to be the main network, not just a test network. And the reason I'm doing this video today is because Truffle, the smart contract framework that you might have seen me use on this channel, um, just came out with Truffle version 5 in beta, which makes this a lot easier. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So before we do that, uh, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the thumbs up button down below the video. That really helps these videos get found by more developers like you because we need developers to help push the blockchain space forward. All right, so on to building these smart contracts and deploying them to the mainnet. So if you want to follow along, you can um, head over to GitHub. I've got this GitHub link, which I'll post down in the description below. Um, this is just a, a project that I use uh, that I've already set up for you so that you can see how to deploy the main network. So you want to just copy this link and uh, head over your, ter your terminal and you can clone the repository like this. So you can say git clone and then paste in the URL. I've already got it, so I'm going to uh, just leave that to you. Once you've cloned the repository, make sure you change directory into that directory so you can follow along. So, um, in order to do this, you need to upgrade to Truffle version 5, and I've also got the documentation pulled up for the Truffle 5 release. You can read through this thing um, yourself if you want to, to get a better idea of everything that's you know, inside of here. Um, but yeah, mostly what I'm going to highlight today is how much easier it makes uh, deploying smart contracts to the main network. So you can read this if you want to. Um, but let's go and actually look at the instructions here and see, you know, what it says we need to do in order to use Truffle version 5. So you want to uh, copy this line. So you're going to uninstall your current version of Truffle, right? I'll let you do that. And then you want to install uh, the new version, which is 5 at beta. So you just do npm install uh, dash g Truffle. And that's going to install Truffle dependency globally on your system. And you want to make sure you use the beta tag to pull in uh, the beta version. All right, so once you've got that rolling, uh, you want to go into your Truffle project and you run npm install. You can see uh, if you open up the project, I've already specified all the dependencies that you need in the package.json file. All right, we'll let that finish up. So. I want to kind of highlight everything you need in order to make this work. So now that you've got Truffle installed, you'll also want to make sure that um, you have, you know, uh, an account connected to the main network and also a test network. I'm gonna I'm gonna deploy this first to a test network just to show you how it works, and then we'll go to a main network. Um, but I would use uh, something like MetaMask if you haven't don't have an account and just you know, create, a, create a wallet, just create a new account. And you want to make sure you have access to the public key and also the seed phrase. So the public key you know, is just the, at your account address. Well, your account address is part of your public key. But basically, you need your account address um, so that you know, you know which account you're using. And you need the mnemonic seed phrase used to build that. Now, I've got some other videos uh, that show you how to deploy smart contracts with, you know, Truffle. And that, that goes more into depth on how to use Truffle to deploy smart contracts. Um, if you want more information on that, you can check out that video. So um, you're also going to need some Ether. So if we're going to use a test network, I'm going to use Kovan, and you're also going to need some Ether on the main net. So you need to buy some. If you haven't, you can use, you know, Coinbase, um, Binance, something like that. Um, yeah, and you also need some test ether for a test network. You can use a faucet like the Kovan faucet. I've talked about this on several other videos on my channel, so check that out if you haven't already. All right, so onward. Um, the next thing that you want is also an Infura API key. So you'll need to go to uh, infura.io. Infura is basically a service that we're going to use to uh, talk to an Ethereum node so that we don't have to run one ourselves. Um, again, you can check out more about that information on these other videos that I've you know, I made in the past about deploying smart contracts. I talk about you know Ethereum nodes and uh, Infura more in more detail, um, and why you would do something like Infura rather than just running your own node on your own machine. So yeah, you need uh, an Infura API key, and you need uh, you know an account address, and you need to be able to uh, rebuild that account with a seed phrase. So. Let's go inside our project, and I'll show you where to put those things first. 
uh, you'll need to go to this .env file, which we're going to use to you know, read uh, environment variables about our project. And you'll paste in your Infura API key here. You can take out the uh, quotation marks. And you'll also want to um, add your mnemonic seed phrase here. Now, you probably didn't have this .env file when you cloned the repository because I added it to the gitignore file. Um, so you'll need to create this .env file yourself. You can just do that like this. You can just say you know, touch.env. It'll create it. And then you need to add um, these environment variables here. All right, now that that's set up, um, the next thing you want to do is actually kind of just take a look at what's in our project. Um, we can go to the bill, uh, sorry, the contracts directory, and you can see the smart contract that we're going to deploy to the main net. I've used this in some other videos. It's a really basic contract. I don't want to do anything too complex here, because um, I just want to get the idea of how you can actually, you know, put a contract on the on the main network. Um, and this, what this does, it allows us to just set and get a value. It's very basic. Um, so yeah, that's what we we'll use. That's what we'll try to deploy to the network. And, you know, we add this to a, a migration script here and this second deploy contracts.js file. Um, you've probably seen me do this in some other videos. So that's pretty basic. And the next thing you need to look at is this um, truffle-config.js file. And this is where we actually set the configuration for all of our deployments. I'll kind of walk you through what's going on here. Uh, first, we uh, you know require this .env file that we created over here, and next we're going to actually set up our wallet to deploy uh, the smart contract to the network. We use this library called Truffle HD Wallet Provider, and I talk about that more in some other videos, and you can check that out in depth if you want to. So um, we're going to specify three networks: a development network to basically just test to make sure everything's working locally. I'm going to use Ganache. Um, so Ganache is just a, a local blockchain, an, an in-memory blockchain. Um, and we'll start Ganache here in a second, and we'll deploy the smart contract to it just to make sure it works. And then we'll deploy it to a test network uh, where we won't use any real Ether. Um, we'll just use fake Ether, and we'll just make sure the deployment is successful to a test network. And once that's finished, we'll actually deploy it to the main network. Now you can see here um, I've got a development configuration set here. This is just set to localhost uh, port 8545. That's where Ganache is going to run. And I've got the mainnet configuration here and the Kovan uh, test network configuration. So I'm actually going to move this up so you can kind of do this in order, make more sense. So here's the Kovan configuration. Basically, we're just going to use this Infura link, and it's going to read your Infura API key out of your .env file, which you hopefully set a minute ago. And that's going to be the provider. That's the Ethereum provider that we use to make this deployment. And we set a gas limit and a gas price. And we set the network ID for Kovan, which is 42. And the same goes for the mainnet. So we basically have used the mainnet link for Infura, and you've used your API key. And we set the gas limit, the gas price. And here's what's uh, critical is setting the number of confirmations. So you can actually see this in the... Um, release notes for Truffle version 5 beta. Um, we can see, let's see here, confirmations. Yeah. So basically you can read this. This is a cool feature about the migrations is you can figure the number of block confirmations to wait between deployments, <clears throat> right? This is saying, this is helpful when deploying to Infura, which we're using because their load balancer sometimes executes back-to-back -back transactions out of sequence and the noncing, so like the nonce that it uses uh, based on your account, uh, they can kind of get a little wonky. They can go awry. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically, um, I've set this to two block confirmations and that seemed to work for me on this last uh, deployment that I did when I was testing this out. All right, so let's go to our terminal. And the first thing you want to do um, is I'm going to deploy this to a test network. I mean, sorry, a local Ganache instance. So we'll run Ganache CLI. All right. We'll start this up. All right, Ganache is running. Now I'm going to, um, I've already deployed this locally with this project. Um, and I suggest you use this too in case you clone the main repository. 
So I'm gonna run, I'm gonna use the, the reset flag whenever I migrate this. So I'm gonna say truffle migrate dash dash reset. And what that does is if you already have a version of the smart contract deployed, um, it'll deploy a new copy. So I'll hit enter. All right, let's wait for this to happen. Truffle migrate dash dash reset. All right, now you might notice if you've used Truffle before that this output looks a lot nicer than um, what it used to look like. It's more verbose, it gives us more information. So you can see, um, it tells us the network name, the development, the network ID. Um, so this is pretty cool. Like it shows you each smart contract that gets deployed and the information. So, you know, there's a migrations contract that Truffle uses to keep track of the migrations. And also, um, it's got the script name, you know, initial migrations, and then the deploy contract script. So, uh, basically, you can see the contract address, the account that deployed it, um, the account balance, the gas used. It's pretty awesome. And at the end, it gives you a summary of how much it actually cost and, uh, for each contract, and also a total summary for the entire deployment. So this total, um, this whole deployment costs 0, 0.01 ether. And you can kind of get an estimate of like, you know, is my gas limit good? Is my gas price good? Uh, things like that. If you want to learn more about gas, I've got some videos about that on this channel as well. All right, so let's try this. Let's just boot up uh, the console, make sure that this contract, you know, works like we think it does. So, so I'll go to this pane, I'll say truffle console. All right, and I'll say uh, simple storage, which is the name of the contract, deployed. I'll say then, passes the function. Oops. Uh, the contract. All right, so contract uh, get. All right, it's blank. So I'll say contract set. I'll say foobar. All right. So we can see the actual transaction happening here in Ganache. So the contract get foobar. All right, there we go. So our contract is working on the, the development network. We can also see its address. All right. Okay, so let's try this to Kovan. This is a test network. We've got it working locally. Let's try to put it on a test blockchain. So I can say truffle migrate dash dash reset dash dash network. And let's say uh, Kuban, because that's what we specified here in our uh, configuration file. All right. So when you're deploying to a test network, what's cool about this, or main, or any, any public network, it'll do a dry run locally. So you can actually see um, that it's doing a dry run first, right? You can see this. And then once the dry run's complete, it'll start the actual migration process, and you'll see. Uh, some cool uh, status updates. You can see uh, the amount of time it's taking. Blocks one, blocks 12. Um, all right, so initial migrations is saving to the chain. All right, so that was successfully deployed to the test network. All right, so what we can do next is just, you know, take the contract address and copy it. And we'll go to Etherscan. Go to uh, actually the Kovan version of Etherscan. So kovan.etherscan.io, and I'll paste in this address. And boom, there we go. There's the contract we created. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, we can also see the total cost of this deployment 0.01 Ether. So, just so you know, <laughs> if you're going to follow along with this on the mainnet, you're going to spend some money. And you're actually going to spend 0.01 ether. So I'll say this ahead of time. Um, you know, full disclaimer: you're going to spend money. Uh, don't get upset at me, please. If your migration doesn't work and it blows up and you lose money, I will say, yeah, just proceed with caution. I would only use an account that has a limited amount of ether. Um, you know. Maybe like 0.1 ether. I don't know. I'm like I can't give you a recommendation because I don't want to be responsible if you overspend. And you need to be careful when you're deploying to the mainnet uh, for lots of reasons because 
smart contract security vulnerabilities, uh, and also you can just lose money when a when a contract you know, blows up in deployment. So proceed with caution. All right. So um, here is the mainnet configuration. We're gonna deploy the smart contract to the mainnet. All right. Shuffle migrate dash dash reset dash dash network main net. All right, let's let's do it. So this will do a dry run again, and let's hope that it actually works. <laughs> All right, so the dry run worked. All right, it's replacing. Uh, it's deploying the initial migrations uh, to the network. We can see the transaction hash. We can see it counting down. Um, a little nervous here because I'm not sure it's actually going to work, <laughs> but we will see. All right, so it deployed. <laughs> All right, so I'll show you another cool thing. Um, you can show uh, like where each contract is deployed on each network like this with Truffle. You can say truffle-networks, and it'll show you uh, actually the list of networks that you've deployed your smart contracts to, and it'll show you the address. So after my successful mainnet deployment, I can copy this and I can go to uh, etherscan, go to uh, etherscan.io, paste in the address, and I can actually see um, the contract that was created here and the actual transaction itself. So once your mainnet deployment worked, you can see the address there. Um, so <laughs> again, please do not be upset if you lose money because your mainnet deployment fails. Please don't email me being upset. I've warned you ahead of time. <laughs> so yeah, it happens to all of us. Um, it's part of the, this phase of development. So guys, check out um, that repo. You can clone this to get started. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how to deploy smart contracts to the main network with Truffle version 5 in beta. So hope you like this video. Be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel to see more videos about how you can build decentralized applications on Ethereum. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.